Hello, this is Ed Delgado, the National Predictive Services Program Manager at the National Interagency Fire Center in Boise, Idaho, with this month's fire outlook. As we move into the June and July season, we start to see warm up across most of the West. Uh, extended drought across the Southwest and the Four Corners region has made conditions very critical in that area with high fire danger uh, existing across New Mexico and Arizona and into southern parts of Colorado and Utah. Parts of the foothills of the interior valleys and the southern coast of California are also at a high risk as conditions remain dry there, although recent precipitation has mitigated conditions briefly. But as the heat continues to increase uh, moving into June, we'll start to see that uh, fuel area start to dry out again. In July, we see an expansion of most of the fire danger into the northwest corner of the U.S. So with northern Nevada, southern Oregon, Washington, and parts of Montana and Idaho entering the picture. And we start to lose the threat across the southwest as we see an intrusion of moisture coming in out of Mexico in advance of the monsoon uh, that will typically move in late in July and into early August. By August, we see a continuation of the conditions, the extreme conditions in the northwest part of the country with an expansion into the mountains of California. And by September, we start to see things wind down with a shrinking of the northern Great Basin uh, with only the timber areas of the northwest uh, and parts of California continuing at a high risk. And that's the outlook for this month.